The Equipment Stages video gives you, the end user, a more in-depth understanding of how to plan and assign your equipment to the different temperature and humidity stages. So, what we're going to do before we go into stages, we're going to go ahead and view set points. Now, whenever the temperature within your greenhouse moves above the cool set point or below the heat set point and falls outside the normal temperature range, the iGrow 100 series controller will enter cooling or heating stages to bring it back in line. You can program up to six cooling and two heating stages. Cool 1 and Heat 1 are the least aggressive, with Cool 6 and Heat 2 the most aggressive. In your program, you will determine what equipment you want to be activated in each of the stages. When the air temperature in the greenhouse rises above the cool set point, the system enters the first stage of cooling, referred to as Cool 1. If the temperature continues to rise, the system will enter the second stage, Cool 2, then the third, stage cool three and so forth. At each increasing cooling stage more cooling will be brought to attempt to bring the air temperature below the cool set point and within the target normal temperature range and heating works the same way and right now what we're going to do is get a view of our devices in the staging screen so we're going to go OK and scroll down to stages and we're going to go into temperature stages first. And, and as you can see, your equipment is listed on the left hand side. Your stages are at the top. And arrow buttons help you navigate within this screen. As well as the setup button, which allows you to turn equipment on. And also, you can use the OK button to do the same function as well. Also there's your cooling devices at the bottom but right now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and program this screen to help you get an understanding of what we want to do to control our greenhouse environment. Now that we're done you want to make your equipment work together to get the temperature back within the neutral set points that you're trying to get to. As you can see, you have your vents opening at the beginning of the early cooling stages and then you have your gable vents helping and then your exhaust fans helping and then your cool pad coming on towards the end of your cooling stage to help deter that heat back into the neutral zone and whenever a piece of equipment fall back into a lower cooling stage like from cool 6 to cool 5 from cool 5 to cool 4 your equipment will gradually shut off when your temperature finally reduces down to the neutral temperature range and that's our temperature staging and we're going to go ahead and talk a little about humidity stages and as you can see you have your devices and you have your choice of humidify, dehum, and cold dehum. Now when it comes to humidity staging you can always program your vents and your fans to open and come on to assist in dehumidification. For instance instead of having no change for vents in dehum you can have your vents open at a certain percentage to assist in dehumidification as well as exhaust fans. You can have these devices override to on when the humidity rises above the humidity set point. Cold dehum is utilized if the outside temperature is too cold and goes below a certain threshold. When it comes to that you can utilize devices such as heaters to come on and assist with 
dehumidification instead of utilizing vents or fans that would make it more colder. And going back to home, we're going to save our changes. And that's our video on staging our equipment.